Thanks for coming on the show today, Mike. Well, thank you for coming to my house. Yeah. So to make it easy. <laughs> yeah, it's real relaxed here. It kind of reminds great. me of Maui a little bit. It, it, uh, it smacks of Maui a little yeah. bit, although it could be uh, Carmel, Big Sur as yeah. well. Weather's a little warmer here. It is. It is nice here, yeah. though. It's nice, nice and balmy today. It is. It's, it's great. Yeah. Great weather in Santa Barbara. It's not so bad where you come from. No, it's nice yeah. up yeah. there in Pismo Beach. Yeah, a little cooler though. A little cooler. Yeah. The water is definitely a little, cooler. A little clammier up there. A little, <laughs> a little clammier. <laughs> the song Kokomo, and I was saying how I really enjoyed that tune because that brought me back to the the Beach Boys 60s sound. I want you to realize that Merle brought it up. I didn't. That would be too self-serving. That would be too no. egotistical for me to bring up because yeah. just because it was number one, the biggest selling singer right. of 1988, more than Michael Jackson, Madonna, or anybody. Oh, excuse me. But Merle I didn't brought mean it to up. Say that. But I, I, I love the song. Until, number I love one in song. Australia for eight weeks in a row. Did you know really? that? Really? No, eight I didn't weeks, know that. Eight weeks at number one. That's like Beatlemania yeah. time. Forget the Beatles. They're not even around anymore. So why did they even bring that up? Anyway, because so, what's your point on Kokomo, anyway? That song oh, brought back are. everything uh, from the 60s that the Beach Boys did for me and a lot yeah. of other people that I know. And I was wondering if are we going to have anything more in that concept? Or? Yeah, I'm working on a little song called Island Fever right now, which right. is pretty catchy. I think it's catchy. I like it anyway. Uh -huh. I don't know if anybody well, else Well, maybe will. Uh, we'll get together and bonk around on Maui and... Uh, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, there. I'm gonna be there in October. I, uh -huh. I, as you know, I yeah. bought the Charles Lindbergh Estate and the next door right. property, which is the prior place, and that has yeah. a waterfall and a yeah, a beautiful mm -hmm. place in Maui. Well, but, we won't put this part on the air, though. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> we we don't want to do that to you. Oh well, that's all right. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we're gonna do some new music. It's uh, uh, in fact. Um, we have several different projects in mind. Mm -hmm. We will probably keep open to the idea of putting a single here and there in a movie, such as mm -hmm. Kokomo's and Cocktail, and right. Still Cruising, our record Still Cruising, which mm -hmm. came, had an album put together last summer called Still Cruising. That song was in, uh, was in Lethal Weapon 2, for instance. Oh, yeah. So, you know, we'll Fair, still probably do that. Bell. But what we want to do mm -hmm. is concentrate on developing an entire new album full of all kinds of uh, brand new songs with the point of view being like I have a couple of titles I could tell you one called only one earth mm -hmm. another Great. called another called uh, uh, dreamin mm -hmm. and another called um, trouble in paradise so uh -huh. environmental sociological there'll be some yeah. you know album filled with concerns I it, best I could explain it is combination between uh, Joshua Tree and Tree in Graceland right. for the Beach Boys only, you know. Fantastic. Yeah, be nice. Gosh, well that's great, Mike, for you letting us in on that uh, little bit of information. And I really want to thank you for being on California Music today, and well, I'm everybody glad across to be here. America is going to see this. I even wore my California cap. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Thank you, Mike. All right, you're welcome. Thanks. <laughs> 